Resident Evil 3 Remake has several safes and lockers containing items that will make your travels around Raccoon City much easier. Here's how to find every code and get to the good stuff quickly. Starting with the drugstore safe, we're going to use Moon's Donuts as our landmark. Before entering the donut shop, turn right and walk up these stairs, then follow the metal walkway around to this unnamed building. Take a closer look at the drugstore owner's journal next to the safe and you'll find that it hints that the code has something to do with Aquacure. This is going to lead us across the street to the Redstone Pharmacy. Exit the room, watching out for the zombie that's lurking around the corner, and head outside. Opposite is Redstone Pharmacy. On the back wall, you can see an ad for Aquacure and the safe code is highlighted below. We now know that the code is left nine, right three, left seven. Retrace your steps to the safe to input the code and get a dot sight for Jill's handgun. The second safe to look out for is in the West Office in the Raccoon City Police Station. To find the code, head to the dark room on 1F and examine the internal memo next to the desk. Here you can see the combination is left 9, right 15, left 7. Exit the dark room and follow the corridor back around to the West Office. They're both on the same floor, so this won't take too long. Enter the code to find the hip pouch, which will come in handy as you find more items. To find the code for the locker in the shower room, head to the operations room on 1F and walk through the door at the back of the room. On the whiteboard it states that the code you're looking for is CAP. Exit via the door on the right, continue forward and then walk around to the left. Go upstairs and walk past the green 2F sign to the men's locker room. Walk over to the locker on the right and unlock it to retrieve the flash grenade. Before you can open the locker on 3F, you need to find the key to the safety deposit room. Thankfully, it's just in front of the locker. Make your way upstairs to 3F and pick up the key on top of the cardboard boxes. When you examine this, you'll find that it's the safety deposit key. The locker is just at the end of this corridor, but you still need to find the code, so head back downstairs all the way down to 1F. Continue walking straight and take a hard right to locate the safety deposit room. Use the key to enter the room. Watch out for this sneaky zombie and turn your attention to the whiteboard on your right. The photo stuck on the whiteboard shows that the 3F locker combination is DCM. Retrace your steps back upstairs and key in the combination to get some assault rifle ammo. There are a couple of items you need before you can find the code to the nurse's station safe, so make sure you have the locker key and hospital ID card in your inventory first. After picking up the hospital ID card from the staff room, exit and watch out for this not-so-friendly creature. Jesus Head through the doors, turn right, follow the corridor to the left and exit right through the double doors to cross the roof. Walk downstairs and turn left at the bottom to find the operating room. Use the hospital ID card to open the door and read the lost items sheet next to the operating table to discover that the nurse's station safe code is nine clockwise, three counterclockwise. Leave the operating room and take the door on the right. You know the drill by now. Go upstairs and left onto the roof. Now walk straight ahead to the nurse's station. The safe is at the back of the room on the left side. Open the safe to get the jewel magazine for your assault rifle. That's all for our safe and locker codes in Resident Evil 3 Remake. Keep an eye out for more video guides on our channel soon.